Hi there, once again, I'm so much delighted to have you back on my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to learn how we can easily create a simple progress cycle chart in Excel. So it's going to be a straightforward way to do this. When you enter any percentage, you should be getting everything updated for you automatically on the chart. Okay, so if I should go ahead and enter 70%, it should be updated for us here and then also updated on our chart. So everything is going to do a dynamic. So if our percentage completed is what, let's say seven, enter seven, you should be get, getting that update. And the indication for the green is for the completed. Okay, so let's see how we can easily create this amazing chart using Excel. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. Consider subscribing to this your first time visiting my channel. So you don't miss any updates anytime I upload a new content. Also turn on post notification and get alert as well. Okay, so you can see everything is working and in order to do this, we need to start a new worksheet. We don't need to start from a blank page. So let me just open a new worksheet. So I'll click on the plus icon from the bottom over here and I have a full complete worksheet I'm going to work with. I'll highlight everything by clicking on the small triangle at the far left corner and then to select everything for me, every cell. And then I can hold any of my column and then drag it in order to open my columns i'll do the same for the rows as well and i think this is okay now let's compare it to this we can now go ahead and then we just need enter percentage to get completed and pending so what we do is that let's say we want to use this part for our work so we're going to say we can just go ahead and type enter percentage i'll type everything in terms Okay, so once this is done, I'll just maybe have to open this column a bit, just this particular column. And then let's type completed. We type completed here. And then let's also type pending. Okay, I think this is set. We select the entire column. Let's bold in this. Let's align everything to the center. We'll use bottom and center align. So go to the alignment option and click on center align. And also let's use what middle align. Okay. Let's increase the point to, let's say around 14. Okay, let's do it 20. Let's do it 20, it's okay. And then let's increase the bold in this. So click on bold. And then let's also open this column a bit so that we can expand this. So that everything can fit into this particular column. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. Let's enlarge this column. Okay, so I think this is okay. What I want to do next is to select this particular column and then I will apply a border around it. So within the phone group, select all borders and that is good. We select this part and then change what the cell color. Select the completed and go to your font and then let's use the fill color and let's select green color for this. And we select the second one and then since this is pending, we change the fill color to what red. Okay, change the fill color to red. I'm going to display our percentages over here. So over here, let's type, let's see, any percentage for now okay so what we're going to do is that i'm going to type so i'll type so i'll just type 0 0.5 and i'm going to convert this into a percentage just select everything and then from the number tab just click on percentage and this should be converted into 45 you can type the percentage directly don't need to go through this process you can just type 45 percent and that's okay and i'll just increase the font size for this as well maybe 20 should be okay and i'll bold in this as well now that we have this we just want to display that because the percent so we just want to display that here the percentage you're going to type for the completed is basically the same of the percentage you're going to enter to so select this part select this cell type equal to and then select this percentage and just hit enter and it should be getting the same thing over here Let's make sure everything we type here is taking the same format. So let's put this around 20 and I will bold in this. Okay. So let's bold in this. And now we need the remaining percentage that's a pending. And in this case, it should be 55. How do we get that? Entire equal to 1 minus what they completed. Sorry, just type it as 1 
minus the completed percentage this way you see when you get to this we just hit enter and you should be getting what 45 let's bold in this as well so anytime you enter any percentage the pending will be calculated for you automatically so enter let's say 65 and hit enter to give you the completed and then also give you what the pending automatically so one minus what the completed and you get that of the pending so now we have to create our chart okay so we select the part of our data that we want to use for the chart in this case we want to use the completed and the percentage select that portion and then you go towards insert tab when you click on insert tab you go under chart and then under the pie chart click and then we're going to use it the dark knots okay we are using the dark knots chart so we need to select that and then you're going to display the dark knot chart like this to you okay so we just open this a bit and then maybe we should be comfortable with the size that you want you can just change the top the title and then type any name you want in my case i'm going to say progress circle chart so i'm going to type that here progress circle chart Okay, so that is okay and then now what we want to do is that we want to also indicate the percentage of completion also within this if you check the final web over here i have that percentage also display within my circle how do we do that if you want to add an item to if you want to add another item to your chart is set and we are going to use a text box we want to be able to drag everything around with the percentage that we embed over here so go to insert and then pick what text box and then we can draw a text box within this but i want to display the percentage completed within this text box so what you can do is that we go to your formula bar and then type equal to type equal to and then select your percentage completed that's the enter percentage which is the same as the percentage completed just select that and hit what enter so you're going to display that percentage within your chart what you can do is to increase the size we just want to increase the size a bit and you can increase whatever size you want so i think 44 should be okay i can open this a bit so that my percentage was to show as well okay so i'll just position this down here and then maybe i have to change the color to that of the percentage remember we are going to change these colors as well to match what we have over here from the completed this you realize that i have the same color with what i have over here so we go back here and then select this our text let's go and then change the text color to a green because that's going to indicate the percentage completed that is what we want to do and now let's go ahead and then also we want to remove can see there's some borders around this i don't want the white part to be showing because i want a perfect percentage so select this chart and then go to format and then we need to remove what the outline around it so this is no outline and then now white indication division around it we're going to remove that so now we just want to change this color to match what we have on our chart we want to have the same color as this, that's red and green when it's pending it should be showing red so we just go ahead and then the completed is what the blue for now so click and click again and then go to what the format tab the fill color that's the fill shape and then you select the color over here you can see it's going to give us the same color as this and we'll do the same process for the pending so click click again and then go to the format tab and select what red okay and then that should be enough for this now we should go ahead and then change anything it should be updated within this chart as well so i'm changing this to let's say 75 And you can see it's updating within our chart we can move this chart around and we still have the percentage that we embedded within our chart everything inside remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification because i share a lot of tips and tricks right here on this channel